We're back with Pete from Weller, and we're going to talk a little bit about the specifics of what the pens do, why this unit is special, and some of the other offerings from Weller. So let's start with the pen. Absolutely. What we have here is, you know, the soldering pencil with, with uh, uh, lead-free solder these days, people are running through tips at a faster rate. So this unit is a, uh, basically a, a control unit that has several features in it that will allow uh, temperature setback, uh, the time that it sets back, uh, all those and I'll go through this menu with you and show you exactly what I'm talking about. To do that, we have to hit these buttons right here, this one and that one simultaneously. And now we're in the programming menu. The very first program is the setback temperature. And we sit here and we have control of that. We hit this button and then we can control that, we can change that temperature right there with that dial and touch. Everything is touch screen. Right back, the very next one is the standby time. Right now it's set for two minutes. I'm gonna, I can turn this off, I can turn it out to 10 minutes or anything in between. Wait, 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 so standby time, what does that mean? So that means that when I set it for one minute, if these tools haven't been used in one minute, they're gonna power themselves down. How does it know? These pencils operate with accelerometers. Oh. And so when it's in standby, when you pick the tool out of the holder and start to use it, it'll just fire itself right back on and you're ready to use. So okay? you hardly even notice, right? So if it really heats up in three seconds, I mean, that's one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, you're there. You're ready to go. Oh, it's not you're just sitting there smoldering at 700 degrees. 700 <laughs> degrees, absolutely. And that saves energy and mm -hmm. even more importantly, it saves tip life and it helps your tip to not become oxidized, which is an enemy in soggy. Wow, no kidding. So I, I actually learned to solder on a Weller. My okay. dad had one of the old ones. Okay. Um, and I swear the tip used to click. Am I insane or is this something that is That was, that was real? Carl Weller's invention. He was a, a gentleman that invented the, uh, uh, the concept of uh, a magnostat on the end of a soldering tip that would become a magnet and a non-magnet and it would touch the tip and heat up and then release when the tip became non-magnetic and it was about a 30 degree swing uh, in temperature. These higher end units, they will stay at temperature while you're on the solder connection. Uh, there's a microprocessor in there turning the heater on and off as soon as it senses a temperature change. So these are very stable uh, temperature uh, soldering tools during the soldering process. Do you know what kind of swing we see now? I mean, if 30, uh, is it like five? Depending on the application, <laughs> it'll be within 10 degrees. Nice, okay. And probably a lot less. Wow. And there's all kinds of different soldering tips available for different applications. We just have the one that came with the unit right now. In this programming mode, I'll give you one word of caution. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also turn the port off by hitting both of those buttons simultaneously and the port, I just turn this port completely off. Some people do that by accident, and to get it back on, all you do <laughs> is hit those buttons and you're right back on again, just like that. Excellent. Okay, now in that programming mode, there are several other factors in here. There's temperature, standby, mm -hmm. uh, standby time, mm -hmm. there is auto off. That feature is if you go home and leave this uh, uh, soldering tool on, it will turn itself off. Uh, and so you, you know it won't stay on all night long at, at full temperature. Sensitivity, that's your accelerometer. You have normal, min and max. Huh. You have an offset function. That's a complicated one to talk about, uh, but uh, it's, that function is in this as well. Okay. Uh, performance mode is these tools, if you have a component that cannot see a certain temperature, uh -huh. uh, you can tell this thing to ramp up rapidly, you can tell it to ramp up normally, or you can have it ramp very slowly where you won't get any overshoot in the temperature. When you're in a production environment, you want fast, 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 but if you're in a, uh, uh, working with a very sensitive component that mm -hmm. can't see a higher temperature than what the component is rated for, you can control this uh, heat up on this tool so that you won't overshoot. Very important. That's fantastic. 
Here is, you can program multiple languages. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can work in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Then you can password protect it. So you can set a password when you have all your settings done and nobody can go in and change it. <laughs> and the rest of these are just miscellaneous, like a screensaver and things like that. Wow. These tools are smart pencils. They have memory inside the pencil. So if I have four or five of these set up down a bench row and the operator picks up this pencil and plugs it into another WX station down the row, the pencil will remember the settings and that'll be updated into the station. Okay. Uh, process engineers can take the software that we had originally when we opened the box, put that on your laptop, and you can do all this programming in your laptop and then save it to a flash drive and then plug that flash drive right into this port here and it will upload all those settings for you into this unit. Well, that's, that's an even deeper dive. That's I love deep, it. That's, there's a lot to this unit. You can, you can make it as, you know, this is great for process mm -hmm. engineers, or you can make it as simple as you just come in in the morning, turn it on, and solder with it. I love it. Perfect. You're welcome. All right. For more videos, please check out our channel and subscribe.